okay today's video is going to be a very interesting one we're going to be testing the mi300x this is a server like a dgx from uh, from amd so you have eight gpus each gpu has 192 uh, gigs of memory and this gpu should be compared with the h100 uh, or at least a 100 i'm better than the a100 that we have from nvidia so a good key point here is that the gpu performed with hbm3 memory and it has uh, uh, the interconnection similar to what uh, NVIDIA has for NVLink. So you can uh, use the GPUs connected together on the same board. This is XXM uh, boards. And each GPU has 192 gigs of memory, which in total for eight GPUs, we're talking about 1.5 uh, terabyte of memory, or GPU memory on one system. Why is that important? Well, because, for example, Llama 3.1, the 405 billion parameter model, require if you're running on the full uh, floating point which is FP16 required to have two servers with eight GPUs H100s in order to achieve uh, the performance or at least to run the model just to run it which on the AMD side the, with one server you can basically run that model and still have space for running another one like for example maybe two or three uh, 70 billion model parameter models of the same Llama 3.1 so what we're going to be testing here is the performance across the all the benchmarks. We download all the Llama 3, uh, even the new Nemotron uh, from NVIDIA. So we're going to see the tokens per second. So we can see how these GPUs compare with the H100 or any other GPUs that we're going to be testing as well. So you have an idea. Okay, so really quick on my screen here. We have, um, we're going to check first the Rock M SMI. So similar to what NVIDIA SMI give you, a little bit... Uh, less information. Uh, I, I would say NVIDIA might give you more information, but at least here we can see that the GPUs are running. We got eight GPUs. They're running on idle mode right now, and they're consuming 130 watts of power. And um, the maximum power uh, wattage that they consume is 750. So yes, they are powerful, and they use a lot of power. But this is how it's going. Even the B200 from NVIDIA required like I think like 700 watts. So that's something to keep in mind. So we got the eight GPUs, and then on the left side. You're going to see here that we have, we download basically all the models. So we have Olama, Nemotron 70B, and I want to test it specifically not only the Q4, because Q4 is the one you download from Olama, but the big model. So how they deploy it, for example, when Meta released the 70 billion or the 405, the full model will take a lot. And then people quantitize the model to bring it lower so it consumes less memory, but you lose performance, okay? So we're testing here different parameters. We're using the FP16, which is the original one. We're testing the Q8, quantization 8, or FP8, and then quantization 4 with in 4. Okay, so we run a couple benchmarks. We're going to test the 70 billion, the 8 billion, the 4 or 5 billion, the big one, and uh, the Nemotron. So you can have the data, and you will see how the GPU performs. And later on, uh, we're going to compare with the H100 and the key difference between the two. Okay, so we can see here we're going to do, for example, Llama run and then gonna take the GPU this first model and we're gonna write verbose so we can see the real data okay I use the same prompt for all of them so what we're doing is just write an essay about the USA revolution something like that I just came back to my mind and I use the same prompt for all the the models you can see here for example for this model we're using 730 watts of power but we're using only one GPU you can see here the clock speed is ramping up on the server and 739 watts of power. That's a lot. Okay, 80 degrees Celsius. I'll be running in, in one GPU. The reason for that is because it fits in one GPU. If it did more than one, it was, you know, still start using the GPUs up to up to eight of them. In the case of the four or five billion, for example, we use all the eight GPUs. Okay, so here we got we got um, on the 70 billion, for example, we got 10 tokens per second on a single GPU, and we tested already the same uh, model on the H100 and they on the single H100, and we get the same performance. So tokens per second compared to the Mi300X is the same performance, but you get almost uh, I would say double, more than double of the GPU memory. Which sometimes it doesn't matter too much if the model is small or you can quantitize to FPA, for example. But if you're running at uh, a model that needs uh, more than eight GPUs, then you need another server and that uh, increased cost and communication between the servers. So a whole setup uh, and may make things more complex. Where in the AMD, you have everything in one place. 
So I'm going to give you uh, a roundup. I'm going to give you a charts now for each model that we run so you can have all the data. Okay, so now we're going to talk about, about the pros and cons between the AMD GPUs and the NVIDIA GPUs. So if you're looking at uh, big models, for example, the Llama 3.5, 3.1, 4 or 5 billion models, it makes sense to have an AMD server because the reason is you have you can run the entire model in a single server instead of having two uh, NVIDIA H100. Basically, you need 16 GPUs to run it on NVIDIA, where in AMD you have only one server, and that makes things way easier when you need to run it. Now, if you're thinking or considering doing uh, training compared or fine tuning comparing to uh, uh, just inferencing, maybe NVIDIA is better for you because you have more tools and things that are easy to use, right? So you can download and run it where AMD is a little of a, a learning curve uh, to, to get things running, but they're picking up pretty fast. PyTorch is working with them and you have uh, things, systems like, for example, when you have the model ready to run to serving customers, you have Olama, for example, you have VLLMs, where NVIDIA you have Triton as well. So you got another option, but AMD is still pretty good and performance wise, it's going to be the same, uh, at least what we tested with the H100, right? Cost, cost wise, depending on what you're doing, if your application, you can modify, you can make it work really well for AMD. I think the bang for the buck here will be amazing because you will have uh, a single server for a price and you can have everything running on one server, even inferencing multiple models at the same time. We have the MI300X available and we're going to have the new one coming out next year. So if you want to learn more, you can go to bison-tech.com or you can call us to 1-888-577-6775 and we, have, we can answer all your questions. We can help you with setting up not only your hardware, we set up a package of a computer uh, amazing for you for what you need and your use case. So we're going to be testing now um, probably next week H100 server. Uh, so you can see the two comparisons. You can watch this video the next one and then we're going to have a chart where you can compare between all of them or you can go to a website and check the GPU uh, performance. Uh, normal GPUs like the RTX 4090 or the A6000, how they compare on, on different LLMs or on different software and hardware and you can check out on our website as well. All right, I'll see you on the next one.